This is Toby Jurevix, Chief Curator and Holland Curator of American Western Art at Jocelyn Art Museum. And today we're going to travel to the Southwest to look at Raymond Johnson's Composition 5, The Wind. But first, let me offer my greetings to you and your families at this challenging time. I hope everybody is doing well, and we're glad you've joined us for this virtual tour. Although he is far from a household name, Raymond Johnson has been called the single figure who did the most to bring modern art to the Southwest. Born in Iowa in 1891, he was the son of a Baptist minister. His family traveled from one parish to another in Minnesota, Wyoming, Colorado, and Kansas, until finally settling in Portland in 1902, where he took his first art classes at the Portland Art Association. Johnson moved to Chicago in 1910 to continue his studies, working as a stage designer and scene painter and teaching at the Academy of Fine Arts. But most importantly, Chicago's museums exposed him to the leading modern artists from Europe and New York. He was particularly influenced by Vasily Kandinsky and Arthur Dove. In 1924, Johnson and his wife relocated to Santa Fe, where he developed his mature style, translating the physical environment of the Southwest into an abstract visual language. Our painting was made the year after his arrival. Let's turn to its title. How does one paint the wind? Johnson captured New Mexico's rolling hills patterned by sagebrush and its angular Pueblo architecture, but overhead in the sky, we can see a powerful delta rushing down from the mountains. A critic described this canvas as, quote, a dancing emotional appeal through the varied rhythms of the modern concept. Johnson lived in the mountain heights of New Mexico to get his theme. Air currents, the rebuff of wind forces, high and low barometer, spectrum light, force converted through currents are all quite apparent in this design. Johnson was concerned with far more than the appearance of the landscape, however. He believed that in a chaotic world, the preservation of a sense of calm, order, and purpose through abstraction was one of art's most important roles. Johnson went on to found the Transcendental Painting Group, who sought to combine abstract art with spiritual content. This quote from a 1963 interview seems particularly apropos of our current moment. Around us, we have realism, strife, pain, and greed. I wish to present the other side of life, namely the feeling of order, joy, and freedom. By setting up my own plastic means, I can at least thrill to the attempt of establishing some fundamental principles that are universal and enduring. <laughs> 